Lincoln City, a club who have been on the rise in the English Football League. After a change of direction, modern day managers appointed and a more recent change of playing style, this is how Lincoln have transformed and have their fans dreaming of promotion to the championship. Lincoln City haven't been to the height of the second level in English football since 1961 when they were relegated from what was called the second division at the time. Since then, the Imps have been moving between Division 3 and 4, dipping into non-league football for one season in 87-88, but that wasn't the last time they saw it. 2010-11 saw them relegated from League 2. They spent five seasons in the league with mid-table finishes and not having much ambition surrounding the club. At the end of the 2015-16 season, where they finished 13th place, the manager at the time, Chris Moises, stepped down from his position. And this was only due to his workload at the time as he was running his own business. But this allowed Lincoln City to reassess their position in the league, set new goals and look to move forward. So the manager search started and they didn't have to look far to find their top target. In the same league, just 10 positions above them at Braintree Town. And they had just recorded their highest finish in the English Football League. This was under the management of Danny Cowley. Getting Braintree to their highest position wasn't his only achievement in non-league football though. He'd been brilliant at defying the odds ever since he took over at Concord Rangers in 2008. From being a player in 2007, he found himself as the manager the year after. He was able to achieve three promotions in his seven years at the club. He then moved to Braintree Town where he spent one season. And this is what caught the eye of Lincoln City, who were on the search for a manager to take them to the next level and achieve great things at their club too. All the while, through Danny Cowley's management career, his assistant was his brother, Nicky Cowley, and that didn't change at Lincoln City. The pair were appointed manager and assistant manager in May 2016. The chairman at the time, Bob Dorian, said that they were the archetypal of the forward-thinking, energetic and ambitious young managers we sought to attract from the offset. And I sincerely believe that they will be successful here at Lincoln City Football Club for a long time to come. So this is where the new chapter of Lincoln City began. Their first season in charge saw a major overhaul of the squad, with three players coming from their former club, Braintree Town. Come New Year's Day 2017, Lincoln were top of the league, two points clear of second with a game in hand. A great start with new management and a huge contrast on how the club ended their previous season. A few months later, April the 22nd, sees Lincoln City promoted back to the Football League in Danny Cowley's first season. Promoted with two games to spare and they eventually finished the season on 99 points. The Cowley brothers' fantastic story continued as they kept achieving in non-league. Another achievement which wasn't so under the radar was their FA Cup run, and this was in that 2016-17 promotion season. It was the first time since 1914 that a non-league club reached the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. The run began with a win over Altrincham in the first round, followed by a win over Oldham. Then in the third round, a game against then-championship side Ipswich Town, they took the game back to Sinsel Bank after a 2-2 draw away from home, and the replay saw them win 1-0. The fourth round, they played again at the time, championship side Brighton, and beat them 3-1 after being 1-0 down at half-time. The round of 16, they came up against a Premier League team in Burnley, and miraculously won 1-0 with the goal coming in the 89th minute. That was what saw them break that historic record, reaching the quarter-finals and getting that dream tie against Arsene Wenger's Arsenal at the Emirates. The game finished 5-0, but the experience and exposure was incredible for the Imps. Now, this FA Cup run was important for the club, as it allowed them to invest their prize money into the club. And this is why the FA Cup is still great. Lincoln City were able to build a new training ground with the money that they got. As Lincoln City were progressing and going up to a new league, the facilities were being upgraded, meaning better players would want to join. And now the proof is always there for people to see how the FA Cup can make a difference to a club, and they have something from the FA Cup run that benefits the club long term. Another feat for the club was a run in the FA Trophy. They were able to reach the semi-finals, so another chance to get to Wembley, but over two legs they were knocked out by York City. All of this made the 2016-17 season one to never forget. And a season which increased the profile of Lincoln as they broke records, the managers appeared on Match of the Day, and many matches were live on TV. Before we continue, if you could please like the video, it really helps the videos in getting found. And as we continue to grow the channel and reach the next milestone, if you could please subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. The following season then, in League 2, they were able to finish 7th in the league. This got them into the playoffs, but unfortunately they did lose to Exeter City in the semi-finals. Where they reached the semi-finals of the FA Trophy the previous season, they were in the EFL Trophy now and they were able to go one step further by making the final and winning against Shrewsbury Town. So another trophy for Danny Cowley. The season after that, 2018-19, they tried to do it better in the league and not have to use the playoffs. And they were successful in doing so, winning the league with 85 points that season. Another promotion as the Cowley brothers still prove that they can be successful even in the Football League. The style of football was quite direct and this is one way that they found success on the pitch. Up to a target man who was either Matt Reed or John Akinde, but also they could 
would be good with keeping the ball on the ground and passing more. One way of doing this was with a favourite of his in Harry Toffolo at left back. He'd provide energy, link up play and runs forward to offer a quick way out from the back. An experienced midfielder definitely helped too with Michael Boswick in the centre being a leader in the team, as well as Flair coming in the wide areas from Bruno Andrade and Harry Anderson. It was a style of play clearly successful for the manager. And it continued as they started life in League One, winning their first three matches with an aggregate score of 8-0. But with this brilliant start again in a new league, it really began to catch the eye of other clubs if what they'd done before hadn't already. It saw the Cowley brothers leave on September 9th to join Huddersfield Town in the Championship, a team that win the Premier League the season before, so the departure for them was understandable. For Lincoln City, it meant going back to the process of finding a manager who can once again take Lincoln forward, keep up spirits and the form from recent years at the club. Just less than two weeks later, an appointment was made. Michael Appleton became the manager. His previous job as a manager was at Oxford United and in his three years at the club was successful, achieving promotion from League Two, getting into the final of the EFL Trophy twice, and finishing eighth in League One in their first season in that league. He then became the assistant manager at Leicester City in the Premier League, but had been unemployed since he left there in June 2018. Lincoln were appointing a manager who was again younger, proven in the Football League with a forward-thinking, ambitious mentality. And what Appleton also brought was a reputation of developing young players. Head of football at Lincoln City, Jez George, said a huge amount of talent at Oxford came through their system and went on to higher levels for significant transfer fees. You need the right environment and coaching and someone with the ability to develop young players, as well as winning football matches. That was a big attraction. Fair to say that Lincoln City were happy with their appointment of a manager who seemed to have unfinished business in the Football League. Since Appleton has joined, we've also seen that he brings a different style of football than what the Cowley brothers had implemented. It's more focused on playing out from the back, high tempo, passing football, what is seen as a more attractive way of playing. It meant that when he joined the club, the squad of players that he took on weren't exactly suited to his play style. He was able to do just enough, get results that kept them safe and finish 16th in the league on points per game. So when the transfer window came around, Michael Appleton had the chance to revamp the squad. The 2020 winter transfer window saw 12 arrivals, including loan deals of Premier League youngsters. But the summer window of 2020 allowed for more transfers to be made, and it saw 15 new players join the club, with 15 leaving the club either permanently or on loan. The incomings were either free transfers or loan deals, so they did well with keeping costs down. One of the signings was for Lewis Monsma from FC Dordrecht in the Netherlands, a centre-back 6 foot 3 and good on the ball qualities. He was the perfect signing for Michael Appleton as it allowed them to play out the back better. What he's also added is a load of goals this season, 7 goals for him is the joint third most for the team. A top quality asset for the team and potentially, if he keeps going in this direction, could become Lincoln City's first sale over a million pounds. So, the present day, where did Lincoln City stand in the league table now Michael has signed his own players? From finishing 16th last season, they're now in third. They've been there for the majority of the season and at one point have been at the very top. Helping them get into this position has been George Grant who has been sublime this season. With 15 goals and 11 assists in all competitions, the midfielder has been very influential for the side. He's recently signed a new contract as well as Anthony Scully, a striker at the club, but also with a new contract is Michael Appleton. His new deal now runs in until 2025, so his great start has been rewarded. Lincoln City's rise is a story which includes a change of vision by the board, appointing young ambitious managers, a historic FA Cup run and the effect that that can have on the club. All of this has led to the team going from mid-table finishes in the National League to being at the very top of League One with promotion into the Championship on their minds. I recommend that you don't miss out on future videos. Subscribe to Route One and like the video if you did enjoy.